What's up Cardano fam, Ada gang. We're gonna go over some interesting and exciting updates for Cardano. So hit the subscribe, hit the like, links to everything is always in the description. Cardano's treasury has surpassed 1.5 billion ADA. Yes, fat stack. We know that on-chain governance around the corner. This is gonna be super exciting to open the floodgates as we continue to go into this bull run. I think this will be a pivotal moment for ADA to blossom new initiatives, community initiatives, DAO stuff. I think it's going to be crazy to access those funds because often projects run out of funds. A lot of times projects are ceasing to exist or they close up shop because they need to raise funds. But I mean, 1.5 billion ADA, right? The line doesn't lie. Continuing with events and what devs are doing now. I'm not a developer, but it's nice to see stuff retweeted. These are all retweets, by the way, by Charles. We had our very first SancoNet multi-sig DREP vote on Plutus V3 proposal. I'm also teaming up with Carlos to do the same as a CC member on Testnet. Who said governance isn't fun? I recorded the whole process into a tutorial video. Should be available within the next two days. Cardano community. It's nice to see involvement by the devs. I don't understand it. I'm not a programmer. I'm a UX designer. But it's nice to see involvement and that it is going on, that there are passionate members. So it's easy to get caught up in TVL, TVL, but often patience pays off. And I think that Cardano has a beautiful community, great brand intimacy, great presentation, very approachable, very likable. I think it's going to be a chain that is going to blossom more and more. Continuing on, yeah, I'm building a Cardano, says Christoph. Christoph, Chris, Chris, Christoph. What do you guys think with a PH always, you know? Christopher, I'm gonna call you. Um, I'm gonna call you Waffle, Waffler, Mr. Waffle. Mr. Waffle says, "How do you even write it? Is it Haskell? No, just open VIM and start writing the validator in Python using so and so op option dev." Now, guys, again, excuse my ignorance. Sorry for butchering the name, but it's good to see building going on. He did tag this uh, Biddler Fest, of course, Biddle Build. Um, this is a two-day event for Cardano builders to connect, showcase, and share. And we see the continuation of that. It's nice. There are builders. Yes, Cardano has builders. I know we think that nothing is going on and that it's completely dead. But there are builders. There are builders. There are people. There are users passionate about it. Charles is passionate about it. Not just people wanting it to moon, but actual use case. I think we saw that recently with the... Uh, ETP from Swiss, right? To take advantage of the appreciating asset. Also take advantage of the liquid staking. We saw that recently with the Dubai police program, the pilot program to use on-chain data to empower Interpol to take and tackle crime, which is very refreshing because crime is often how crypto gets scapegoated. And again, like builders, presence, on-chain governance, a lot of good stuff to look forward to. Uh, wrapping up, Charles has been very outspoken against like the war on free speech, right? We know that X has freedom of speech, a little bit memed on because of its Frankenstein technology for Twitter. Um, I won't bore you with all the pain points with Twitter, but a little bit of a lack of freedom of reach. Clearly, the blue check, gold check doesn't really work since we have like Alex Becker fake gold verified accounts. So clearly, I hope Twitter, they can really take the helm and fix Twitter with its technical flaws. But it's nice for people to express themselves and show dissenting opinions. I think that dissent creates democracy. We shouldn't shut down anyone from speaking their mind. That's the whole point of DeFi, right? So it looks like she's pretty angry, says Charles, that somebody is challenging their monopoly on truth. Australian politicians want to shut down X and imprison Elon Musk because free speech is a is a danger to their fragile democracy that's run by fragile, pathetic people. You couldn't make this up. Let's have a listen. This is hilarious. Is that legit? Is this being over dramatic? Because that's just crazy. Are we actually in a world now where they want to throw him in prison? The, uh, the alleged attack and uh, Elon Musk really showing contempt for the government and its approach on this issue. What's your your take on the, the tech billionaire? Look how serious they are, eh? He's like, I can't, I can't break character. Loosen up a little. Yeah. 
Um, so when it comes to the tech billionaire, like I've already said, I think he's a social media knob with no social conscience. He has absolutely no sh social conscience. Someone like that should be in jail and the key be thrown away. That bloke should not be, have a right um, to be out there on his own ideolo ideology platform and creating hatred, um, you know, showing all this stuff out there to our kids and doing all the rest. I'm very interested. The hell is this moron going on about? You have OF, you have all these, you have things that are like accessible to the kids like they've never been available before. And you're gonna highlight Elon as a villain? Guys, I keep saying this stupid villain arc needs to stop. If Elon did a couple bad things, look, I've criticized him for like Twitter's tech that needs help, the cyber truck, but like still, there's still good that Elon does. What's up? What's up with Australia, guys? Is Australia just becoming like next level uh, commie state? Like what the hell's going on there? Watch what the US is going to do with TikTok and how far that they can do. Uh, we're trying to get rid of that platform as well. So I think we're all watching on the United States. And look, guys, I know that it's easy to jump on the bandwagon of TikTok China, TikTok China buy it bad. But some people have made a good argument that like they also show I acknowledge that it does feed bad stuff to the kids, hedonistic app, but if it allows like left and right to coexist, then great. Because it also seems like these countries want to have complete control and have their wormholes into the social media apps to present what is likable for them, for their riding, right? Uh, it's kind of intellectually dishonest to think that Facebook and some of these other apps don't bend the knee. And I think when the social media conglomerates or even with Telegram, if they don't bend the knee, then they get pissed, right? And they just make it their mission to just, no, you can't exist at all. We're gonna ban you, we're gonna do this. Why would they remove this? Look at this, look, it literally says X refuses to remove church so-and-so content. It's truth it, and let the people decide for themselves. This crazy wacko Shrek with a wig it's kind of the equivalent to saying the town hall, the, t the hall in the town, the city hall is creating a lot of hatred because people can come there and speak their mind. It's like, it's a platform. He doesn't control what users post. What's wrong with society? What the fuck is wrong with this Australian shit? at the moment to see what they're doing but seriously if we can move and if that means in the next sitting that we can shut um him down from doing this because this is happy just to kick disgraceful. Them out? Keep, you keep the platform out oh, i don't give a stuff about the platform i'm happy to go off the platform today to be honest with you i already have a list of all you journalists um i don't even know why we're on the platform um but i say this to everybody else i'll be switching off x today I'll be doing that um, before I get to the airport this afternoon. And I suggest that the other 226, there's 227 members of parliament do the same thing and show them that you mean business. Because when you want to lead by example, it has to happen from here. It has to happen from here. So start switching off X. Start throwing it back at him. But we've got to start from here. Jackie Lambie. Clowns, bruv. Clowns. You know what? I've earned more, I've gotten more respect for Elon. This is what Anger Crypto has to say to this panel. Three stooges. Three stooges. Dumbo number one. Dumbo enabler number two. And complicit Dumbo three. Try hard flexing. It's like, bro, what's the point? Like, have a little bit of dissent. You don't think there's a good in letting the truth be seen? What a weird situation. Dialing back to what Charles was saying, it said, he, yeah, it looks like she's pretty angry that somebody's challenging their monopoly on the truth, right? The truth shouldn't fear investigation, right? So these guys are doing straight commie. She seems more uh, interested in attention than sincerity. Holy shit, man, that's proper dystopian level. Women shouldn't be in politics to begin with, she says. She's a bit embarrassing our nation. That's not even my word, that's her. Embarrassing, embarrassing. Hey, Charles, as an Australian, yeah, strongly disagree. Jackie Lambert, what the hell's that name, bro? Refund that name to Costco. The powers that be are afraid. Yeah, they're afraid. They're afraid that people can go to this platform and see left and right. Wow, 
Wow, adults can make decisions on their own? Whoa, informed consent? Oh my goodness. So even though there's technical faults with Twitter, as any other app, at least like the sentiment is trying to keep it open. And I think that if they do get on these like developer issues, the UX issues, then it can be a really good platform. Um, that's, this is just, I don't have good vibes about about this lady. Now, I don't know a lot about Australian politics, so excuse my ignorance, but I'm in Canada, which is basically dumb and dumber. It's like one of the brothers to Australia, um, just generalizing. But I mean, Charles has a point, man. Like what is up with this weirdo attack on, on freedom of speech? Like, I wonder if Elon Musk has uh, reacted to that or said anything about this because he keeps pushing for this, right? That's his motto, that's his slogan of like free speech. That's absolutely ridiculous. Now, I don't know if this is talking about the event where the bishop, or if this is a new event, like something altogether, because it could be something co completely, but regardless of what it is, their 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 motive and, and the ulterior motives, I don't like that at all. You know, I don't like that they're trying to do that. Politicians wanting to shut down. And it's just stupid, man. It's just so stupid. So. I support Charles with decentralization. I support with empowering people, dialing it back to Cardano, of course, guys. I think that it's a bullish future for Cardano. Um, I'm looking at the prices right now. If it does go lower, because I'm gonna talk about in the next video, this stupid narrative that I predicted, which was correct. If it does go really low, like under the 40 cents, I'm definitely looking at buying because I wanna scoop up before we go parabolic with the whole market. Um, yes, Cardano gets flooded, but let's not forget how robust and the longevity and the uptime and the features that Cardano has, one in particular loving the staking. I'm going to keep a close eye on Lace Wallet and what else is going on. So hit that subscribe, hit that like. What do you think about the development with Cardano, the treasury of 1.5 billion? And do you have any thoughts about the clown festival carnival happening over in the place that is extremely hard to travel to that is basically becoming more commie by the minute. Any thoughts, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next Angry Crypto Show.